In this mod review video, we're going to take a look at the W900 dump truck for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today in this mod review, we're going to take a look at the W900 uh, dump truck for American Truck Simulator. Now this can be found in the Kenworth dealership as you can see over there, Kenworth. And let's go jump into customized configuration. Now, um, I need to say this first of all, guys, very important, do not change the day cab. Do not, if you want the dump, dump truck, don't change anything else. All right, just leave it at day cab and leave the chassis at 150 gal. Alright, because as soon as you change that, well for me anyway, the game crashed, okay, so uh, just leave that the way it is. You can, however, change uh, any of the engines, if you so choose, so you can go Packard, Cummins, uh, whichever you'd like, you know, there's Cat there, so there's a few there for you to choose from, which is great, and then we go up to the transmission, we got 10, 13, 18, uh, six so all of the um, and what's that that's Allison 4700 RDS so you know there's a few to uh, Allison TC 10 there we go a few to choose from uh, I'm going to stick with my 18 speed I love that I'm very comfortable with that and it's less hassle for me now the interior is just the standard interior you've got the classic or the modern whichever you want just gonna leave it on the modern for today now the colors that we have here are all of the standard colors that you normally get including metallics and there's a custom metallic color we'll go and test that one out as I love to do there we go there's one there's two and there we go there's three three different colors uh, we also have some of the other skins like divided and there's flames there's a frost uh, isn't that that's from the movie I believe it's not really it's actually Merry Christmas but it looks like it's from the movie Frost all it needs is that girl on the front there on the door and, and everyone will think it was from Frost uh, there's a Santa Claus you know there's the there's the skull one which actually looks quite cool so you know there's the dragon so any skins that normally work with this for American Truck Simulator will actually work on this one which is quite good that makes it really good now, what am I going to choose for a skin today? Let's choose that. Let's choose that blue there. How about that? That looks pretty cool. Now, uh, over to accessories. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same accessories that you'd normally get. So, we're just going to quickly run through it. Uh, I have noticed that the windows have been tinted and the lights are also tinted as well. I don't know what the go is with that. But that's the that's what's happened with this. Uh, now uh, you can chuck on some mirrors if you want, but uh, I'm going to leave them off for today. And then we have the wind deflector. We have an air cleaners, just like you would in the normal truck. Your number plates, your sun visor. There's your mirrors. I like to have the doubles. Then you can change the lights up the top and right up there there is the horns if you want to change them you can just going to leave them the way they are for today uh, then we go down to the rims standard tires standard rims and I'm going to put on let's see let's make it look shiny and new let's put chrome we'll put on some nuts and we'll put on a chrome cover now for the actual uh, back here, we'll do the same, put on some chrome. Remember to paint your nuts, guys. Don't just leave your nuts you know, in some stupid color because if you haven't got the nuts right color, it will look just stupid on your rims. It really will. So make sure you paint your nuts, guys. Um, over to the back there, we're going to do that as well and make sure we've painted our nuts. And there we go. Um, last one there, we need to make that chrome, and there we go, that is it there, there we go, all good, now mud flaps on the back here, uh, you can change the mud flaps, but the only one it affects is the white, the ones up the front there, as you can see, so 
Um, bit of a bummer, but anyway, can't win them all, can you? And there's the mud flaps again. There, no, they only change the same the front the front ones. So uh, then we have the exhausts. It's just two there that you can change. Now um, that looks very very good. I like the actual dumper on the back there. Very nice indeed. Now over to the accessories. Let's have a look. Mirrors, air cleaners, your steering wheel, and let's choose something different that we normally don't choose. Um, I don't know. Let's no, not not that one. Not that one. Not today. Not for this truck. Uh, I'm going to choose that one there. There we go. Uh, there's your mirrors, your driver's plate, your bug deflector, wind deflector. What do they call it? Bug deflector. Uh, then we got the front mirrors. Then that's your co-driver's plate, your air air filter or air cleaner, uh, your side mirrors, your uh, sun visor, and that is it. One thing I have noticed, you can't see the dumper, but that probably is because, you know, so, I don't know, graphically doesn't drain it. I don't know. I think it would be better, wouldn't it, if it wouldn't, uh, if that wasn't there, but anyway, uh, if that's there, sorry. But anyway, that is pretty much it. So it's basically your standard W900 with just the dumper on the back. So, which is great. Um, so not much has changed since we last had a look at this. Uh, let's go trade in while we're talking about that. Uh, but it's been made so it's up to date with, um, you know, the latest version of, um, of, uh, American trucks, which is good. Oh, it just crashed. Oh, awesome. That's great, isn't it? That That's really, really good. I did nothing there and it just crashed. So, let's go back in there again and check it out. I'm just going to see if I can just buy it without doing anything extra. Just buy it. And that's it. If we can't buy it, then this is a flop. It is a fail. So, that means it is stricken from... Um, the weekly drive which is a real shame it really is so just waiting for this to load yes I don't care about you signing in crap just go in there damn thing um, right let's go into truck dealers Kenworth there we go um, and we'll go visit selected dealer thank you very much and there we go trade in as is yes there we go. Okay. Will it will it load now or is it going to crash again? Oh, okay. So, it's loaded. So, there's obviously some conflict there. I don't know what. But at least we got it to load in, okay? So, um there's another thing to note as well, guys, when voting for the weekly drive. Uh, the trucks crashed like in three different cases when I changed the the cab it crashed when I changed the chassis it crashed and now when I just had some extras on there uh, apart from the stock standard it crashed so obviously when it was being tested it wasn't tested properly so let's test the engines now we'll check it out So I'd say this has got all the stock standard engines in there. Um, and there we go. There is the... Is that the lights on? I, I don't know if they're on or not. It's hard to see, isn't it? Are they shining? Put high beams on. Oh, there we go. Now they're on. Okay, for some reason, it just... You can't... Oh, now you can see it. Flashes. Uh, high beams, they were working. We saw them over there. There we go. Um, and flashes all the way around. We'll put the brakes on and reverse. There we go. So those reverse lights are working. Brakes are working. Um, doesn't have any beacons, so that's out. Uh, wipers, let's see. It's very hard to see. But wipers, yes, you can see that they are working there, which is good. There we go, and let's jump on the inside. Uh, flashes are working on the inside. Wipers are working. Yes. There we go. Uh, horn. We didn't test the horn. There's the horn. 
And on the outside. Okay, so they are working. Um, right, let's go check out the other engines. I'm just going to go straight over that, that lump there. Is the brake on? I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Okay. There we go. No. No. There, the brakes on now. Brakes off. Trailer brake is off. There's no trailer. It's it's stuck. All right. Well, look. So far, I'm not overly impressed. <laughs> I'm having a bit of problems with it for some strange reason. We'll just teleport over there, and uh, let's jump on the outside. So there you go. There's the standard engine there. Let's have a look at this here, and we'll go and try. Uh, that's the Cummins. Let's try the Packer. Confirm. And we will start her up. Standard engines all round, I'd say. So, no new engines in here at all. Uh, what did we try before? We tried the... Um... Actually, look, that's... I'm just going to go down. We tried the, the Packer. Let's try that one. S standard engines. See, just standard engines all the way around. Let's quickly go and chuck in uh, one of the ones that I've not quite seen before. Where is it? Um, no, I've seen, I've seen all of those. Um, yeah, so I think it's just basically standard engines all around, guys. So I'm just not going to bother testing that any further. Uh, let's see. Can we get this moving? Yeah. Okay, so it might have just... When it spawned it in, it got stuck. So that's... You can't hold that against the actual mod itself, so... For some reason, that is... Very hard to take off there. Very hard to turn. Now I've got the wheel, I've got the uh, the tag lift up at the moment, so see that it's just sort of dying when you turn. So as soon as you go straight, it's fine. Oh, tag lifts. Uh, let's go uh, lift axle. There we go. Alright, so that lifted the axle. I had it down. I wonder if that's going to cause it to uh, make it any better or not. Don't know. Uh, it feels like it has a load. It is very, very heavy steering. Very heavy. Um... It's fine to drive now, but look, when as soon as you turn, it is like very, very heavy on the steering. So I'm going to just try it around this corner here as we... Fourth, we should be fine turning around here. Yeah, see, that's really heavy steering. Right, well, uh, one thing that I wanted to try was, is that this is meant to come with the trailer. So let's have a look, see, what have we got with trailer-wise? Trailer-wise, have we got a trailer? Because it's meant to come with one. There it is there, there's one. So if we go to Barstow, and we select that, let's see how it handles now. Whoa, look at all those. Stream cannot be empty. What is that? DX9? Is that mine? DirectX9? Is that for my 
for my uh, computer, is it? Wow. Uh, where? Do, oh shit! Where do we need to go? Hang on. I've never seen that before. That uh, we need to go down to Basto. Go to B A R S T. Oh, hang on. That's what's happened. Sorry. Silly me. I've gone and put in. Need to take that out there. And there. There we go. I didn't see. I just started typing. That's generally what I normally do. Right. Uh, let's go over here. Where is this load? Is it this way? Yep. There it is. Down there. There it is. And just drop it right there. Enter. And we'll go to Freight Market. And there we go. What jobs can we pick up? Confirm. Now, if we were to go to here, there we go. We can pick up a job there too. That is very, very good. So, I like that. I like how they've done that. That's very good. Right, let's let's get going. See if we can go around here now. I'm going to drop that down to low, low. And as we're coming around here, we should be able to see our load. There's one. Where is ours? Is it up top there or? Oh, there it is there. Alright, well, um, I have to go around and just do a, uh, a Yui. And I'll back it up all the way. Let's let's see how we're gonna go. Should be right backing this up. Oh, it's stalled. All right, screw this. Look, I just want to get the trailer. I don't want to give have a whole heap of problems. So I lose patience with these sometimes all right so just want to get the trailer so f9 it there we go we got the trailer see there's our trailer it hooks on so that's good uh just going to try and drop it oh yeah yep and let's just pick it up no problem okay Away we go. So it look it seems to be pulling it fine. Look at that. That is not a problem. That actually looks really cool, doesn't it? Ow, 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 ow. Too busy looking at the trailer and not looking what I'm going. Um But yeah, that actually looks quite good with that trailer. Um, this is... Oh, fuck's sake. This is actually a little bit different to when we had a look at this last year. We had a look at this same mod last year, and it's... Uh, a little bit different. Before, I thought it was actually really good at drive well, and that it, it's not as nice to drive now. Um, although it still does drive so you can get around it. If you love your dump trucks, you're probably going to like driving this. We'll give it a go anyway. Um, but guys, it's not up to me. It's up to you. 
Is this what you would like to see in the weekly drive? Do you think it deserves to be in the weekly drive? If you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Punch that like button in the ass, and um, then uh, that will actually go into the draw for the weekly drive if it actually gets enough votes. So the winner is the one that uh, the one that has the most likes, guys, is the one that uh, is the winner of the weekly drive. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.